So you're ready to form your single member LLC in Nevada on your own, but don't know where to start. This video course is perfect in that I'll walk you through all the steps to form, maintain, and all the steps in between for your Nevada LLC. In this course, I'll cover these nine steps by creating a fictional LLC named Line B LLC. It's your online retail company run by one person, you. What will be covered is Nevada LLC name search, business address, registered agent, articles of organization, operating agreement, employer identification number, EIN, Nevada business bank account, annual requirements, taxes. But before we dive in, let's cover what an LLC is, when you should begin to form one, the pros, the cons, and all that good stuff. So let's define exactly what an LLC is. A limited liability company is a hybrid business structure that has characteristics of a sole proprietorship, general partnership, and corporation. An LLC is the simplest and most flexible business structure for a home-based business to form and maintain. It has the tax advantages of the non-corporation entities and limited liability protection of corporations. So what does all that mean for you? It means you get protection, flexibility, and it's easy to fill out documentation on your own to form and maintain your single member LLC. Once you do form an LLC, you should form an LLC when you're regularly selling your product or service, you have regular and repeat clients or customers, you're hiring independent contractors or employees, you would like your business to have its own liabilities, assets, and can open business bank accounts separate from your personal accounts. The first advantage is legal protection. Compared to a sole proprietorship or partnership, an LLC will protect your personal assets and also shield you against being personally responsible for the LLC's debts or lawsuits. It can be formed by one or more individuals and protects the personal assets of the owners in the event the business goes bankrupt or is sued. Credibility. An LLC is recognized by partners, suppliers, and lenders as more favorable. The business name will let customers take your business more seriously. Simple maintenance. LLCs require less paperwork and formal meetings, roles, and record-keeping procedures compared to corporations. Although there are many benefits, there are some downsides when forming an LLC. A couple disadvantages of an LLC are maintenance cost. Every year, an LLC will normally need to pay an annual fee to maintain the company's status. This increases the cost of having an LLC. Overall, let me sum up the advantages in a nutshell. The number one reason you'll want an LLC is for asset protection, to create a wall between your business and personal assets. Your personal assets are things like your cars, home, investments, bank accounts, really everything you own. And in the case that you get sued, they only go after your business assets and all your personal assets are safe. What a relief, right? Other bonuses are that LLCs avoid double taxation, are credible, and don't have to maintain minutes or reporting, and are easy to form and maintain. But warning, there are annual maintenance fees. Okay, now that you know what an LLC is and isn't, let's get into the formation documentation. Step one, naming your Nevada LLC. In this section, you'll learn how to find your LLC name. First step is to make sure you don't have a name that's already taken. You can see if it's still available by doing a search on name availability with Nevada's Secretary of State. In this case, we're going to choose the name Line B. And for advanced search options, be sure to hit All. A list will then populate to show you what names are available. Looks like Line B is good to go. Nevada requires a proper designator showcasing that your company is an LLC. And you can pick from what's listed on your screen. Pro tip, if you're not sure which designator to use, LLC is the most common. You may reserve a name for 90 days by filing a name reservation request form with the Nevada Secretary of State. The application may be filed online using Silverflume, the Secretary of State's web-based business filing portal, or by mail. The filing fee is $25. Now before you get started, also familiarize yourself with a list of restricted names. That wasn't so bad, right? I'll cover the next couple things to complete your formation, and a big one not to overlook is your business address. Let's go over the best options for you. Step 2. Choose a business address. In this section, you'll learn what business address doesn't work and which ones will work. We'll cover your options of P.O. Box, Home Address, Virtual Office, and Virtual Mailbox. Let's start with a P.O. Box. Your business address cannot be a P.O. Box, so save yourself the pain and skip this address option altogether. So what can you use? Your home address. It's simple and free, but you risk exposing your home to the public for strangers and unwanted visitors. It might not be the option you want if you care about your privacy. A closer business address might be a virtual office for you instead of your home address. It's a mix between a physical office space and a remote address. Basically, you get the perks of a physical office, like renting a conference room, but you can't work there daily. 
You do get office services like fax, phone, and receptionist. So what is closer for you if you run a remote business and don't need the physical space? A virtual mailbox. This gives you the cushion you want for protecting your privacy. Use the virtual mailbox address instead of your home, and it gives you a permanent address. It also allows you to manage your mail and packages online from any device with internet connection. You'll get extra features along with your virtual mailbox like check depositing and registered agent services. The virtual mailbox for Line B LLC will be with virtual postmail. Now how to get VPM as your virtual mailbox service? Go to virtualpostmail.com and check out more details about VPM's Nevada location. Then head to the pricing page to choose a plan. As a remote business owner, a good plan is the business for you to start. You'll then head to the sign up page and choose a mailbox number. Line B LLC as the name, and if you plan on getting personal mail, check that box. Next, create your login information with username and password, plus create your security question and answer. And you'll have to fill out the form 1583, which is a requirement with two forms of identification provided. And Line B LLC now has a VPN virtual mailbox as a business address. Step 3. Registered Agent in this section, you'll learn the best option for a registered agent. What is a registered agent? A registered agent is a requirement to operate because they act as a point of contact between the Secretary of State and your business. The state will send your company important compliance information and official correspondence through your registered agent. What are registered agent requirements? You're required to designate an in-state registered agent when you form your company as well as maintaining a registered agent in the state in which you formed is an ongoing requirement. While exact requirements for registered agents vary, there are three rules that generally apply. The registered agent must be a resident individual or a domestic or qualified out-of-state corporation. Second rule, the registered agent's office must be a physical address in the state. This means that a PO box does not qualify as an in-state address. Third rule, the registered agent must be available during normal business hours Monday through Friday. Who can be your registered agent? You can hire a registered agent like Virtual Postmail. Since we're using Virtual Postmail's virtual mailbox, i.e. business address already from the previous lesson, it comes with a free registered agent service that can be used here. The benefits of using Virtual Postmail's registered agent is you'll get same-day delivery of your served legal documents, and you'll be able to use that address for privacy compared to when you use your home address, which is public. Are there downsides if you don't assign a registered agent? It will affect your ability to operate until you pay off the fee. Step 4. Articles of Organization In this section, you'll learn what you'll need to file your Articles of Organization. What are your Articles of Organization? The main purpose of the Articles of Organization is to officially confirm the LLC's existence as a legal business entity, once filed and approved by the Secretary of State. How to complete the Articles of Organization You have to submit three documents to the Secretary of State. The Articles of Organization, which is $75, the state business license, which is $200, and the initial list of managers or managing members, $150. This is mandatory. The total filing fee for all three forms is $425. These documents contain basic company information, such as the LLC's name, members, business address, and registered agent, depending on the rules and regulations of the state where the LLC is formed. The Articles of Organization is the form that officially creates your LLC in Nevada, and the other two forms are additional and mandatory requirements for Nevada LLCs. How to file online. Register for a Silver Flume account. Enter your email, name, phone number, and create a password. Then enter your address and answer two security questions. Activation email. The state will send you an activation email which you must open and click the link to finalize your Silver Flume account creation. The link in the email should say something like activate my account. Just click that and it'll redirect back to the site where you'll need to log in. After you log in, you'll be redirected to your Silver Flume dashboard. Let's get started. Click start your business on the left. Select start a for-profit Nevada business. Select domestic limited liability company, NRS 86. Note, although it looks like you'll only be filing your articles of organization by clicking start, You'll actually be completing the Articles of Organization, Initial List, and State Business License. They are all grouped together. Name. Fill out your LLC name. For us, it's Line B LLC. The transaction type is Articles of Organization, LLC, and the fee is $75. Click Search. Here you'll see that the name is available. 
Series. Check this if you're forming a Nevada Series LLC. In this case, it's a no. Restricted. Most of you in this course are not forming this, so you can leave this box unchecked. Registered agent information. For type, we select entity, and the search results will also choose Virtual Post Solutions, Inc. Here you'll have the opportunity to update your registered agent information. For Line B LLC, since we're using Virtual Post Solutions Henderson location, that's the address we will use. For management structure, we're going to choose Member Managed. For officer information, give yourself the title of managing member, type is individual, enter your name, and your business address. If you're using Virtual Post Solutions, it should be the Henderson address. Fill in the information to provide your signature. Here you'll list your registered agent. Again, for us, it's Virtual Post Solutions. This section is asking for additional documentation, and we don't have any, so let's skip. Now the next part will be the initial list. With the initial list of managers or members, you can see it's $350. Here you'll add a signature and the title of all members. For me, Line B LLC is Kevin Johnson as the only member. This is the business license section. It's not exempt, so I'll skip. Next, you'll make sure the management information is right, and you'll have to add the address. It's our Henderson VPM address plus signature, and check the summary. Click Continue with a filing pop-up. This will bring you back to your dashboard for checkout for all the documents you just filled out, like the articles, member list, and business license. Make sure all the information is correct, especially the address and registered agent, and add to cart. Step 5. Operating Agreement In this section, you'll learn why an operating agreement is important and how to create an operating agreement. What is an operating agreement? An operating agreement is like a blueprint for your Nevada LLC. It outlines the rules and regulations regarding ownership and structure as well as the financial and operational layout for the company. Please note, no state requires you to file your operating agreement with the Secretary of State. It's an internal contract you'll keep with your company records. Now that you know what an operating agreement is, head over to Rocket Lawyer. That's a good source I like to use, so I'll cover it. Rocket Lawyer Operating Agreement Now that you know what an operating agreement is, to create yours, you can head over to Rocket Lawyer. That's a good source I like to use, so I'll cover it. Go to the website Rocket Lawyer and create an account. It's free to sign up for creating our operating agreement. Please note this is just an example and should not be taken as legal advice. You should consult a lawyer if you have any specific questions or needs. Once you're on the dashboard, click on Make Documents. In the search bar, type LLC. You'll see all your options related to an LLC. Select on Single Member LLC Operating Agreement. How to complete the operating agreement. Insert your LLC name exactly as you registered it with a state. Choose the state your LLC is being formed, in this case it's Nevada. Although in your operating agreement it won't be public, it's best to practice to use the business address you have on your Articles of Organization. In this example, in the Articles of Organization, it was a VPM address. This is the date when the LLC is formally accepted and approved by the state. Business purpose is a short description of what you'll be doing. It can be up to one to three sentences or you can skip. For Line B LLC, we simply stated, We'll sell goods online with clothing. Enter the name of one of the members. We're going to use Kevin Johnson. This is often asking your asset contribution. In this case, it's cash only, my savings. If you want details, you can click need help with this question. Input how much money you'll contribute to your LLC, or if you're unsure, you can skip. Next is your registered agent information. Note that the address cannot be a PO box. This should have been selected. In the previous section on getting a business address, we obtained a VPM mailbox address, which comes with free registered agent services, which we will use here for Line B LLC. And again, this information should match what you have on your articles of organization. For this example, it's a VPM registered agent. Will the LLC operate indefinitely or will it end on a specific date? We're going to choose operate indefinitely with no expiration date. This is voting power for future members for your LLC structure. For this, let's match percentage and voting power. Member distribution of profits can be monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, or annual. To make this easy, I'll put annual. The two forms are manager managed and member managed LLCs. The member managed LLCs are more common default because this means all owners are involved in the decision making day to day. As a single member LLC, you are the owner. Select yes if you want to have officers for your LLC. For now, no is what I'll select because I don't plan on it. The fiscal year will be the year that your LLC maintains its financial records. Often a safe bet is December, but will depend on your industry. If you have questions, you can ask an expert on the right. Is the LLC requesting corporate tax treatment from the IRS? 
If you plan on being taxed as a corporation by the IRS, click yes. In this case, I'm going to click no. Final checkout, then you can choose your plan. The free trial is enough and cancellation information is here. Lastly, be sure to download and keep safely for your records and update as needed. Step 6. Employer Identification Number EIN. In this section, you'll learn how to file your EIN online, or if you want to mail or fax instead, how to fill out the SS-4. What is an EIN? The Employer Identification Number, also known as the Federal Employer Identification Number, or the Federal Tax Identification Number, is a unique nine-digit number assigned by the Internal Revenue Service to business entities operating in the United States for purposes of identification. Think of it as your business's social security number. There are a few ways to apply either online, mail-in form, or fax. The cost to apply for an EIN is free on the website. I'll cover the best method, which is online, then go over the SS4 form if you want to mail or fax the form. EIN online filing can only be done if you have an ITIN or SSN. If you don't have this, then you will not be able to file this online and you must file via fax or mail. For Line B LLC, I'll be using my SSN, so online is my method. How to apply for your EIN online on the IRS website. Go to the IRS website and navigate to the EIN page. Hit Apply Online Now. Read the important information and begin application. What type of legal structure is applying for an EIN? I'll select Limited Liability Company. Continuing on, review what an LLC is and what it's not. Now the details. The section Identity. Tell us more about the members of the LLC. For this, I'll put one because as the owner, you'll be counted and you'll select Nevada as a state for business operations. Then please confirm your selection. Review more about a single member LLC. Why is the LLC requesting an EIN? Here you'll pick one reason that best describes why you're applying for an EIN. In this case, it's a new LLC. So I'll select started a new business since I'm beginning a new business. The section authenticate. Please tell us about the responsible party of the LLC. Fill out the blanks with your own information since you'll be the owner of the LLC and select I am one of the owners, members, or managing members of this LLC. Again, because you're a single member LLC. The section addresses, where is the LLC physically located? Something to note is that you can't use a PO box. You can use the Henderson virtual mailbox address from the previous lesson at 1887 Whitney Mesa Drive. The section details, tell us about the LLC. Fill in the blanks with the legal name of your LLC, and you must match your articles of organization in which you registered your name under. We're going to skip the trade name, DBA, unless you have this. County, state, state in which you'll file to operate your business, the LLC start date. For us, it's June 2021. Tell us more about the LLC. Select all that apply to your specific industry. Most of these cases, I'll select no. What does your business or organization do? Select the industry that applies and describe what your business does best. For Line B LLC, we're selecting retail. Select or specify what applies, or a safe bet is sell goods if you're an e-commerce store. How would you like to receive your EIN confirmation letter? We're going to select receive letter online. Although I went through the online option, I'll cover if you don't have an ITIN or SSN too. Next, let's go over how to fill out your SS4 form. The SS4 is for your mail and fax option for your EIN. A tip, fax is faster than mail. Fill out the SS4 form. For line one, legal name of entity or individual for whom the EIN is being requested. Enter the legal name of the entity or individual applying for the EIN exactly as it appears on the social security card, charter, or other applicable legal document. This is required. Line two, skip the trade name if it's the same as number one. Line three, leave this blank if it's not needed for an EIN for your LLC. Lines 4A to 4B mailing address. Entering the mailing address for the entity's correspondence. We're using our VPM's virtual mailbox address. Lines 5A to 5B, street address. If it's the same, you can leave 5A to 5B blank. Provide the entity's physical street address, only if different from its mailing address shown on lines 4A to 4B. Don't enter a PO box number here. Line 6, county and state where principal business is located. Enter the entity's primary physical location or address of your registered agent. For your VPM virtual mailbox, it's Clark County. Line 7A to 7B, name of responsible party. Enter the full name, first name, middle initial, last name, if applicable. So in this case, it's Kevin Johnson. As a single member LLC, the EIN responsible party will be you, and SSN and ITIN of the entity's responsible party. The EIN responsible party is a person that goes on file with the IRS when you apply for your EIN for your LLC. 
Think of the responsible party as an LLC's contact person, where the IRS will send your LLC's mail and correspondence to. Lines 8A to 8C, Limited Liability Company or LLC information. For 8A, check yes. 8B, since it's just you, put one. And 8C, check yes, as this is a domestic LLC. Line 9A, type of entity. We're going to select other and specify it as disregarded. Line 10, reason for applying. Select start a business. Line 11, start a new business. Put the date your business started. Line 12, closing month of accounting year is normally December. If no employees are expected, skip line 14 and 15. Check the one box on line 16. You can match this with line 10. That best describes the principal activity of the business. You must check a box. For line B LLC, it's retail, so I'll check that. Line 17. We're going to specify sell clothing online. Use line 17 to describe the applicant's principal line of business in more detail. An entry is required in a few words because the IRS wants to know what you're selling or services you're offering. Line 18. Since this is likely a newly formed entity, you'll select no. Finally, include your signature and the date. Step 7. Nevada Business Bank Account. In this section, you'll learn why you need a business bank account and how to sign up for a business bank account. Why you need a business bank account. It's important to keep your business and personal assets separate to avoid liability. Remember the advantages of an LLC from the beginning? You'll want a business bank account to maintain those advantages. The most important part to take away from this is really the information and address solutions, as it's pretty much the foundation anywhere you choose to open your business bank account. Please note this is just an example. I'm going to use Chase because it's my preferred bank. First up is choose a complete plan. Press no, not a new customer. Tell more about your business. It's line B for the name and select the drop down menu LLC. Go ahead and confirm the business name. Select no for the DBA. Select the EIN and fill in the EIN number from the previous EIN section. For the business address, I'll be using my home address for line B LLC. Include the street, it can be your home address, zip code, city, state, contact info, business financials, fiscal year is December, state organized is in Nevada, the business established date is June 2021. The business type is online clothing, women's. Submit next. Here you'll be asked more details about Line B LLC. You'll be asked about your customers, and in the case of Line B LLC, it's individuals. Where will your business customers, services operate from? For now, it's US for Line B LLC. Source of funding, basically where your money comes from for your business. US. Withdrawal, depositing, and electronic transfers you can make your best bet. And for Line B LLC, it's new so I'll pick none. The source of ongoing business funds for Line B LLC will be from business operations, customers, and a loan. For Line B LLC, there are times of flux which are the holidays. This account will be for operating, payroll, and tax purposes. And the money that will be used to open this account will be cash, personal, and a grant. You'll then have to verify your ownership percentage. For Kevin Johnson, it's 100%, and then review and submit the application. Step 8. Annual Requirements for a Nevada LLC In order to maintain good standing, there are two documents you have to file every year. An annual list. This is the list of managers or managing members. The annual list of managers or managing members is $150 per year. And renew your state business license. For the Nevada State Business License Renewal, it's $200 per year. For the due date, it's due on or before the anniversary month your LLC was approved. You can find the date on the upper right-hand corner of your stamped and approved articles of organization, and often called the filing date and time. For example, if your Nevada LLC was approved on January 5, 2021, your first annual list in state business license renewal will be by January 30, 2022. Then every year going forward, it will be due by January 30th. What happens if you don't pay? The Secretary of State will charge you a $175 late fee, and your LLC will go into default status. If you continue to ignore this requirement, your LLC status will become revoked. Filing Methods Online Go and register for a Silver Flume account. Be sure you're logged into your Silver Flume account, then continue. Then just click Annual List and State File Renewal. Search for your Nevada LLC by name, entity number, or Nevada business ID number. Now that you've selected annual list and business renewal, you'll be brought into the management information, so let's fill it out. Title, managing member, type, individual, first and last name, Kevin Johnson. 
I'll use the business address, which is a virtual mailbox I got from VPM, which is the 1887 Whitney Mesa Drive, mailbox 6874. Country, city, zip code, state. Go ahead and add the officer because it's just Kevin. Next, you'll have to sign it with the full name and title and click next. When you file the annual list, you also renew the business license at the same time. So you only need to do it once. You don't do the common business registration. You don't file amended list of manager, which is to update the list of managers or members in between the annual renewals. Step nine, taxes. Warning, taxes are not as straightforward as forming an LLC in Nevada. Things vary by city and vary by industry. If you have any more questions, it's best to reach out to an accountant in Nevada. Taxes are reported and paid by federal, state, and local. The Nevada Department of Taxation provides a lengthy, yet helpful, guide on taxation for your Nevada LLC. There's a link in the description to this department for more. You did it! Let's summarize all the things we covered together. Nevada LLC name search, business address, registered agent, articles of organization, operating agreement, Employer Identification Number, EIN, Nevada Business Bank Account, Annual Requirements, Taxes. Now you know all you need to know about your Nevada LLC. Stay connected and subscribe to our mailing list.